Hello everybody and welcome back to Provis Gaming and more Prison Architect and Klaus's Wunderstrafanstalt! Well, maybe I'm getting a little bit carried away, but nonetheless, planned out a lot of expansion in the near future, which I am very much looking forward to. Uh, actually, let a couple days go by and it appears that Kanga got herself in some sort of trouble. She's been injured, probably by fighting a guard or somebody, I don't know, there's blood kind of going all over the dang place, but... Either way, oh, uh, one thing to address... Because you guys are so very astute and observant. Uh, yes, it appears I did mess up a patrol route here by accident. Uh, must have either double right-clicked or held right-click for too long. I'm not sure, but either way, that bro broke up the route. So, uh, more important to make sure that we just kind of get that connected. But keen eyes, I did see that during the editing phase as well. But I appreciate the reminders nonetheless. Alright, we got a new batch of prisoners on the way. Have you looked at them yet? I can't remember. Wanted criminal by everyone who cheated money out of countless people. Sentenced to 16 years for arson. Makes sense. Joyriding, drunk disorderly behavior, false accounting, death by dangerous driving, violent disorder, assault. Nothing really special here. Kind of makes me sad. Wait, never mind. Kylie Ray was the product of horrible parents and a horrible situation. After spending time in mental facilities, her coping skill, her coping skill still weren't socially inept. Okay. She was sent to prison for manufacturing marijuana for self-medication for two years. Well, clearly she lived in the wrong state, because in some places, that could be legal soon, if not already. Anyway, so yeah, new prisoners on the way. Um, sooner we can process them and get them in there, the better. Uh, I have planned out massive expansion to this uh, cell block. And what I'm thinking I'm going to do is I'm actually going to turn this into a medium security only uh, cell block once that option becomes available. Because I did see some comments saying, hey, we'd like to see some dormitories and stuff, and I'm like, okay, that kind of makes sense, but only for minimum security. I'm not sure I would really put a bunch of medium security people all together. It sounds like it's just, you know, asking for trouble. They're all just sort of sleeping in the same place and blah, blah, blah. Well, I got some big honking dormitories, the minimum security, the people who are low risk, who can be with each other without being a problem. We'll get this all set up. This will become a minimum security wing once I actually do get the infrastructure. With plenty of family cells just in case in a good long shower area. We'll put in the common room and kind of have a nice almost airlock situation to make sure no one can get in there without permission. Also increasing out with some solitary confinements. Going to have some spaces for a mail room, a library, security office and all sorts of stuff. And then also a space for a workshop and forestry area to grow and chop down trees. Turn them into, I don't know, chairs or something. And also uh, license plates, so we can make a little bit more money. And yeah, that's kind of what I planned out, as well as kind of having a fence all the way around, just to reduce the likelihood of some problems. Uh, one of the things that the commenters let me know, uh, alerted me to, and I appreciate this, is apparently, in order to meet their food needs, I need to put a serving table in the staff room as well. Now that seems silly to me because I assumed that the uh, drink machine, or at least a snack machine or something, would fulfill that goal. But no, we apparently have to serve them proper food. So, let's find ourselves a serving table and rotate this thing around. I could serve it right across from the turlets. Does that sound good? No. Um, man, there's not a lot of space in this staff room anymore, is there? <laughs> we're going to disassemble this, um, this drink machine and put it in the corner or something like that. And then we're going to put in the serving table, and hopefully that will meet our staff needs. Nice tats, Chica. I assume those are tats and not like the chain link fence like showing through your face. Gianna Edwards. Assault? No, she's only going to serve another year. She won't be here for very long. Now, well, assuming we have like a parole office or something. But the other cool thing about splitting things up in a minimum and normal security uh, is that I actually will be able to shift up their eating schedules so you don't have one group in the canteen taking up all the space. You know, we may actually need to expand the canteen. I'm a little bit concerned about that. Maybe we should consider doing that. Should we? If I took away just one more of these cells, these family cells, I probably could do that. I think we're going to have to, once you consider how big the normal security area is going to be. There's just not enough space for them. So yeah, let's just actually go ahead and future-proof things a little bit. And we'll assume that uh, we need to expand out the canteen, kind of like so. Let's see. Um, take these walls out, and then we will say... This is what we need for sort of an airlock kind of thing. You know, just have a couple doors. Just trying to make sure that medium security prisoners don't get in here trying to murder the snitches and whatever the heck else. You know what I mean. We've already had two deaths and Klaus can't handle it anymore. 
All right, what's the problem right now? What's going on? What are the needs? Because people are mad at me. Food. They need food. Also, they need a shower. Also, some family time. Well, I'm working on it. Okay? I'm working on it. Just cool your jets. Klaus can only do so much at one time. Klaus is only one person. Klaus can't be everywhere at once. Also, let's go ahead and minimize that. I don't need that much. Uh, drain. We'll put a drain here. Put a drain here. Kind of the same situation we have before. Rotate this around. Doop, 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 doop. Doop, 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 doop. Doop, 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 doop. Doop, 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 doop. Okay, good. Uh, we need to get some piping in as well. You know, actually, do I need to worry about some hot water piping here? Let's see. I do think that this is too far outside of the radius, which is interesting. If I did this, I actually think I'd be fine, which is interesting. Dismantle utility. Okay, the problem with dismantle utility is I can't really distinguish between the hot water pipes and the regular water pipes. Eh, I guess we'll just have a little redundancy. This is probably not a big deal, right? I'm a little bit worried that this water boiler just isn't going to have enough of a range. We may need to include another water boiler somewhere. But where would I put a water boiler? Maybe they're just going to have to live with the fact that they got cold water. Did you think about, you should have thought about that before you got yourself into prison? Okay? Okay. Where's logistics? We need to plan out food distribution. I need micromanagement in order to do that. Okay. Well, that should be fine. Uh, in the meantime, let's just try to increase our prison capacity up toward 50 so I can get some more money. Uh, very soon, we need to change up our meal quantities and quality, which would be good. And we are still trying to assign prisoners to work in the kitchen and the cleaning cupboard and stuff like that. Let's also get rid of this door. We're going to replace it with a regular door. Um, yeah, what to do about a cleaning cupboard down here, really? What to do about this area? It's not very efficient is the problem. Not very efficient at all. But I'm not sure what else I'm going to do about it. I could expand the laundry out a little bit and make it into a proper... Yeah, okay. Let's do that. We'll expand out a little bit more room for the laundry. Make this into a proper cleaning cupboard. We'll also increase the access eventually to the minimum security wing. And just sort of see how that works. Because right now, if we assign some prisoners down to the laundry, they're not going to be able to get down here. By the way, the other thing we need to change... If we go to the regime, instead of just free time, I need to assign some time for them to be allowed to work. So namely, we'll have some afternoon free time, and then um, they'll have in about an hour, and then they have to go back to lockup. So a three-hour work period. You know, some people would say that a three-hour work day is a luxury. Whoop, what's wrong? What's wrong? Okay, so my guard is just beating this person senseless for some reason. Destruction attack staff. Well, she's been beaten senseless now. Okay, well, we're going to have to fix that, and somebody else broke something. Hey, uh, guard, would you please get up here? Because someone broke a turlet. Can, no, no, can you get up here? Into the cell. Is there no one here? Well, there's just a bunch of destroyed stuff, apparently. Okay, well, they're automatically trying to repair things. I guess that's something. <sighs> Why aren't you guys happy? Oh, right. Well, the problem, of course, right now, right, with their food stuff, is they're only getting one meal a day, so they're starving. I guess I shouldn't get too mad at them for that. I mean, that makes a little bit of sense. Hmm. Well, they just lost all their uh, visitation pro uh, 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 privileges. That's the word I was looking for. So, Well, sucks to be you. Let's put in a drink machine. Let's put in a serving table. It's getting very cramped in this area, but whatever works. And there's a bunch of naked ladies with... Oh, the Tattoo Sisters are here, apparently. Is that a gang? Is that a gang symbol? It is a gang symbol. Would you look at that? Gang member. Gang member. Unknown reputation. Can I please see... Where... What what gang are you a part of? Okay, it belongs to just a gang. They will defend their fellow gang members and will harbor hatred towards rival gangs. Well, that's great, but if you don't tell me or to help me distinguish what gangs are what, how am I supposed to predict that? Can we also get these stupid boxes out of the way? Because, good lord. Causing so much trouble down here. Hmm... Could open up a storage area over here, because right now it seems like we're having a little trouble. A little full. Ah, whatever, my Wally workers will figure it out, it'll be fine. Okay, uh, one thing we probably could consider doing is getting ourselves another medical bed. Because we only have one right now, and more eventually shall be useful. We could also probably afford to get a couple more guards. So we'll do that. Anything else we really need right now? Not especially. I think we're gonna be fine. Okay, not bad, not bad. Cool! I uh, found a screwdriver. That sucks. 
These metal detectors are expensive, but they'll do a lot for helping detect contraband. The other thing that would be really good would probably uh, be getting some drug-sniffing dogs. Oh, you had a screwdriver probably hidden up inside your baby, didn't you? How dare you? Child endangerment, ten more years. That's how it would be in my prison if I had my way. Or if Klaus had his way. I don't know. Anyway, good. Food has arrived. Staff needs should be met fairly soon. Excellent. So, we said we were going to expand this place out, yes? Let's demolish up some walls. Actually, no, cancel that. This wall. By the way, I did see um, a comment saying that I should use the dismantle objects. Yeah, thank you, actually. I completely forgot this existed. There are so many different, like, demolishing things. Clear indoor area. Demolish walls. Dismantle objects. Bulldoze everything. It's like, oi, oi. I mean, I, I, I get it a little bit. Like, you don't... Ooh, we're healing her here. Well, can someone please let him out? Thank you. I understand that there needs to be, like, multiple different uh, dismantling options and stuff to speed things up, but, hmm, that is... It is getting complicated rather quick, isn't it? All right, let's get some more walls. So we're gonna make this area just kind of a long cleaning cupboard. Uh, rooms. Uh, cleaning cupboard. Extend it out. Like so. We are going to demolish these walls. We'll expand out the laundry a little bit. For all the good it will do us. No idea if it's important. We might be fine with what we have right now, but... I'd like to be able to accommodate for a lot of prisoners working here. We need to give them jobs, you know? Put them to work, save me some money. Anyway, I guess we'll have... A jail door here, and we'll just keep it perpetually unlocked for the time being. And that way, if we ever have to do a lockdown, we'll be able to shut it down quickly before people can get into the laundry and find... I don't know. I don't know if you can find a weapon down there, but... If you can... I'd rather people can't find it. Why can't we get electricity down here? Seriously. I wasn't aware that walls caused this many problems for electric lights to hook up to. Whatever. Take a look at our deployment. Things are looking okay, I guess. We have a couple of extra guards that should be floating around for doing jobs. So yeah, they're all busy right now, but... Uh, for the most part, we got a lot of guards going around. You know, one other thing we should do is actually install a metal detector down here as well. Uh, where is the metal detector? There it is. And the reason I want to put this here is because what if family members try to smuggle in contraband and, like, throw it over the wall? Then we would look really silly, wouldn't we? Have we finished with this thing yet? No, it's still not checked out. Why are we at 62% if we haven't actually finished 50% of the thing? Hey, look! Found a cigarette, found a screwdriver. Okay. We're going to have to punish them most harshly. Klaus does not tolerate your foolishness. And we need to start building out some more cells, because I did say that I want to get higher capacity. Doop, 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 doop. Doop, 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 doop. Okay. That should be enough, I think. Get us to 50, or at least very close to it. And we'll be able to expand that out later, as is necessary. Spending a lot of money doing that, of course. But it'll all be worth it if I get an extra $20,000. Right? Probably. Let's see. Deployment. Um, logistics. Prison labor. One, two, three. Okay, I don't have any qualified prisoners right now for the kitchen. So one thing... I can actually have a few jobs here. Well, I'll stick with four for now. I need to teach some ch uh, some prisoners kitchen hygiene. That's what I need to do. Kitchen, safety, and hygiene. Eight are interested. Do it. Now, of course, one problem of doing this... Um, is what if they steal a knife and try to get away with it? You know, ultimately what I want to do is have a good set of checkpoints of metal detectors to try and detect that stuff before it becomes a threat. We've only got so much money to work with. If a few people die, then a few people die. And I'm... I'm terribly sorry, but that's prison life for you. Okay. Let's go ahead and... Hmm, we could actually start working on the foundation for this stuff now, I suppose. What's more important as far as foundation? Workshop, mailroom, shops, library for their happiness, minimum security area. Uh, I don't know what we consider the most important right now. You know, I kind of want to play with the shops. Let's go ahead and do this. We're going to open this place up so that eventually we can have mail room, a shop for them to buy goods, like toothbrushes and whatever the heck else, a library 
in a guard station so the guards can relax somewhere and prepare to deal with their prisoners. Plot together. You remember that Ivo character? How are we going to make her life a living hell now? Well, fear not, my villainous rogue guard people. They shall suffer soon enough. Let's get all the utilities going, because we need to make sure this is all working. Doop -a -doop -a -doop -a -doop -a -doop -a doop and electricity. Could use a bit more as well. So there we go. I think that will more or less solve our problems. Again, starting to run lower and lower on money. But the sooner we can finish off some of these grants. Ah, never mind. Hang on. We just finished a grants. That was 50 capacity. All done. Thank you. Moving on. Okay, so the governmental security ratings for armed guards and a dog patrol. Now, I love the idea of getting dogs. Armed guards? A little bit of a problem. I really would rather not have people with guns walking up and down threatening everybody. We're formed through education. You know, we could build the, edu the uh, classroom. This is going to take a little while, but once it's complete, you get $40,000. Crack down on drugs. Find 10 illegal narcotics. So basically, get a large prison... Pick up the grant, do a shakedown, and hope you get lucky. Cell block C, raise your prisoner capacity up to 100. Now, I'm not too sure how dormitories work um, as far as just a large room and putting down beds, and maybe that this is way larger than we need it to be. I'm not sure yet. We could do a short-term investment, pay a few thousand dollars now, and eventually get a lot more. Let's just go ahead and do a short-term investment. I don't feel like I need any of the other stuff right now. We haven't even built a classroom. But we can fix that in the meantime, and just let our money start making money while we wait. So let's see. If this is the classroom... Oh wait, I haven't made a room yet. Hang on. Classroom, classroom. Wait, we have we, we have a research education. Now that's still 50 minutes away. Okay, see, so yeah, never mind. We're not able to do that yet. Hmm. Um. Right. Well, building this place out then. Let's see. If this is going to be the library, we'll get a jail door here. That'll be enough just to get kind of, the, kind of the building going. And we'll sort of plan it out and figure out how those little individual places are going to be. We could also use a parole office really badly. Not too sure where to place it. How big does it need to be? Parole. Five by five. Well, unfortunately, this is one, two, three, four. This is not a large enough space. Would hate to have to bump everything down again. Could, instead of making a security office or something, make one of these parole. also feel like it ought to be a little bit closer to the, um, the entrance, though. Maybe that's crazy. Hmm. Kind of worked ourselves into a hole where we've taken up a lot of valuable real estate, and I'm not too sure what else to do. Are the lights getting installed here? Because it doesn't seem like there are any lights. Gosh dang it, apparently we... Did we cancel the lights? No, they're here. They're queued. Well, I stand corrected. We're fine. Brick wall. Boop. Mm, beep. Mm, beep. Planning. Let's get rid of this. There we go. Uh, and you as well. Okay. Uh, we'll need to get more doors. First off, let's plan this out. So if we want a security office, office desk, chair, and a filing cabinet. Offices for your officers. Now, how is that different then from, like, the office I've already got up here for the chief security officer? What does this accomplish for us? Is it, like, a staff room? Maybe this is just totally unnecessary. I don't know if I'm going to get security. This may not be This may not be relevant. Yeah, screw that. Let's get a mail room. Okay. Whoa, that was way bigger than I meant it to be. No! Place you here. Thank you. Shop. We'll go here. Thank you. Library. We'll go here. Thank you. Laundry. Let's fix this darn thing. Where'd you go? Laundry? Laundry! Okay, expand you out. Done. Cleaning cupboard, you're probably okay, right? Yeah. Morgue? The morgue is all messed up now. And the infirmary. Gosh, how did it do that? It's like it lagged a little bit. And all of a sudden we lost it. Infirmary. Boom. Alright. So yeah, we need to place um, our classroom if we are done with education. Which we are. Good. Good, good, good. Classroom goes here. Objects. We need an office desk. And then I know we needed to get, like, what was it, 20 school desks? Oh my gosh, there's not enough space for all this. We'll try. Okay. They may just have to kind of squeeze along the walls here. We'll do what we can. 
But I needed 20 desks in order to make that work. That's what the grant is going to require, right? Grants. Build a classroom, build 20 school desks. That's so freaking many! Alright, well, we're going to try to reform as many people as possible, but I do think this is a good place to end this video. So yeah, you kind of get an idea where things are going to be going. And uh, thank you guys for those who offered some tips as far as like serving table and the patrol route and stuff like that. I do try to read comments, but honestly it's harder and harder to uh, keep track of everything as the channel has grown quite a bit. But it's been very helpful, and it's fun engaging with you guys and seeing that you're enjoying this series. So, as usual, if you enjoyed this video, be sure to hit that like button, leave a comment letting me know, and of course subscribe if you have not already. My name is Provis, and I will see you guys next time in Klaus's Wunderstrafanstalt!